Here comes a double turn, and we are on a turn. <laughs> oh! So you get the hello, good game. Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you've all been having a magical time with Innistrad so far. I know I've been enjoying the heck out of it. Today, we'll be playing with a nasty, nasty deck. Uh, I'm calling it, is it big dumb? Uh, we're using, you know, Goldspan Dragon, All Runs Epiphany, and Galvanic Iteration to copy some spells. And, uh, you know, we get ropes, we get scoops, and, uh, you know, definitely you can tell how frustrated the meta is with this deck, and particularly these cards. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for a really good competitive deck to help you win games, basically no matter what, this is just the deck for you. So buckle up, get ready. Make sure to like the video to help support. Subscribe to the channel if you want more great content like this on your feed. And of course, if you really want to go above, above and beyond, join the community Discord. The link is in the link tree and maybe even become uh, a full-time supporter through Patreon, uh, God willing, right? So <laughs> with this being uh, you know, said and all out of the way, we're going to break down the deck list, talk about the strategies, the synergies, showcase all of that in the gameplay footage, wrapping up with our final thoughts and deck review. So let's take a look at Is It Big Dumb? Of course, this is a 60 card, best of one standard deck with 3.9 average mana value with 30 non-creatures and six creatures. Now, before Simba shuts the computer off, because he's, he's, he's eyeing it up, he's going right for that power button. Look at my little kitty cats. So this is Simmy Bean, uh, Simba, Timmy Tuesdays, Timmy Toes. You guys know Maya really well, but you've not maybe seen Simba a lot. Oh, a big old meow. He's a big boy. I'm gonna put him on the floor though. So he doesn't get that power button. Uh, you know, six creatures, 39 creatures, 24 lands. That's what you've got going on there with a 3.9 average mana value. Uh, what's going on here is Goldsman Dragon, 4-4 four, four, Flying Haste. Whenever it attacks or becomes the target of a spell, it will create a treasure token. Treasure tokens now will sacrifice for double mana. Oh my god. So there's big, and here's dumb. All runs epiphany for seven. We can foretell for six to create two 1-1 one, one flying birds and then take an extra turn, exile the epiphany. Great news here is we can copy it with uh, galvanic iteration for two. When you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell and you may choose new targets for the copy. Plus it has flashback for three, so we can cast it the turn after basically because it's not much more expensive, which is really, really cool. And then, you know, uh, taking triple turns, quadruple turns, it's all an option for you guys, which is absolutely deadly. That's the core of the deck. Building around that, we have treasure generation to help us get there uh, a little bit quicker. We also have uh, a really cool card. I'm loving the Moonveil Regent. 4-4 four, four, flying. Whenever you cast a spell, you may discard your hand. If you do, draw a card for each of that spell's color, right? So if it's a mono spell, we draw one. If it's a dual, we draw two, triple for three, so on and so forth, right? Uh, which is nice on an empty hand. Very, very good if you just have a land, whatever, who cares there as well, right? So that's going to keep you going into that late game, allow you to string in uh, maybe multiple copies of All Runs Epiphany, which is nice. And then we're digging for All Runs Epiphany with things like uh, Memory Deluge for four instant speed. Looking at the top X, where X was the amount of mana spent to cast this spell, putting two of them into our hand, the rest on the bottom in random order, and then flashback for seven, which is nice. And then we're also digging with Arcane Infusion for two instant speed. Look at the top four, reveal an instant or sorcery from among them, put it into your hand, rest on the bottom in any order. Flashback for five, uh, not any random, sorry, um, but flashback for five is great there as well. And we can also dig with Expressive Iteration, looking at the top three, putting one into our hand, one into the library, and one into exile to play this turn, which is great, right? We can also discard and draw with uh, Cathartic Pyre, and it doubles his removal, which is really nice. Similarly to things like Prismari Command, right? That two damage, the draw to discard to, uh, make a treasure token and artifact, a little bit better because you get to choose multiple modes where the Cathartic Pyre is you only get to choose one of the two, right? That three damage or the draw discard effect, uh, which is great. Seize the spoils, you know, the draw discard as well. Plus we can make a treasure token. This is absolutely amazing to copy with our iteration because you only have to pay the discard uh, cost once, which is really good. And then you'll be drawing four cards and creating uh, a treasure token, which is sick. 
Uh, <laughs> divide by zero, getting us to the sideboard for the lesson, bouncing spells, keeping our guys alive if we need. Just a general tempo card here and the general sideboard. Sciences for ramp, teachings for draw, start from scratch for, you know, damage, artifact removal, removal within the introduction to annihilation, and then the mascots exhibition, right? Just the general shenanigans that you'd expect. We have field wipes within Battle of Frost and Fire, four damage to each non-giant creature and planeswalker, draconic intervention, X damage to each non-dragon creature, uh, where X is equal to the mana value of the exiled card that we have. Uh, lots of instances and sorcery, so you know, it could be a three drop, could be a four drop, um, you know, potentially even could be an eight drop if we're discarding the magma opus at instant speed to ramp with that treasure, right? Uh, if we don't, we can cast it instant speed for eight, four damage to any number of targets, uh, tap two permanents they control, create two, uh, or sorry, create a single 4-4, four, four, draw two cards, uh, which is, you know, absolutely insane there as well. Browsing through the deck, I think we've talked about everything other than Dragon's Fire, you know, just more removal on the side of Cathartic Pyre. Uh, it gets a little bit more damage in, right? We can deal four damage other than three, and sometimes that's helpful, um, but, you know, nothing super serious there. Uh, that's the deck, you know, keeping it basic, keeping it simple for right now. Uh, this is, uh, you know, not a new deck, but for this set, we've got some really cool things included that we didn't have before, right? Cathartic Pyre, Arcane Infusion, Galvanic Iteration, Moonvale Regent, Memory Deluge, right? So there's a lot of new pieces to the deck to start experimenting with and really uh, discovering what value they hold within the Is It uh, Goldspan All Run build. With this being said, thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, give Tuesdays some Patreon support. This big boy eats a lot of cat food. <laughs> and uh, more importantly than all of that, you guys have a magical day and we'll see you soon to wrap up with our final thoughts and deck review after the gameplay footage. Enjoy. Going first. Mm, a little bit of ramp, a little bit of search, a little bit of removal, and a little bit of wipe skis. I like it. Maya, get back on your wheel. <laughs> what a great cat. Oh. What in the world would I do without Miss Maya? I should get her a, a brother at some point here. A little bro, a little rascals to hang out with. I guess we'll ramp. Um, this is a red source. Are they playing Bant's party? Ooh, and a Fortel. Okay. Nice. We have a gold spend next turn. It is something. <laughs> it is something. Dragon's Fire can kill the Haven. It could be a counter spell. It's a draw. You just gotta go for it, right? Like, what else are we gonna do? Nothing? And let them draw more counter spells if it was a counter spell? So, it's like, go for it, bro. Three, four, five, six, seven if we attack. That's fine, though, right? Four, five, six. Oh, this is the copy. One, um, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'd need nine.
it's important for me to copy our all runs epiphany. Yeah, we only have eight, and we would need nine here. I don't think they meant to block. Let's foretell over, and we're chilling. That makes another treasure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We could make eight mana, which is enough to do it. If we dragons fire our guy, no, I don't know. Fuck it, let's go for it. Well, what if we don't draw a land? How can we get punished here? We can draw the counter. Oh, the that's not a counter spell. I honestly thought it was that time. We need to be careful. We need to make the most out of it. Uh, it's not great. Four land in play. We know it's not a counter spell. They're tapped. Perfect. We're good to go. We also get to scry three, which is super helpful for our next all run. This is probably the most obnoxious play you can do. Copying an all run's epiphany. Oh. We're going to find one here with the double cast. Looking at the top eight. Oh my gosh. Get those out of the way. Oh, we still don't find it. So it's good to get them all out of the way. This is a good draw. Well, that will help eventually. So close. One, two, three, four mana. We have 20 life still. We can hang out. <clears throat> Man, we just slammed through our deck. Like, we've seen so much of our deck already. That's ridiculous. Okay, a little bit of our own medicine here, I see. That's good. Do they have another? I mean, we should have had 
more as well, but apparently they're all at the bottom of our deck. Well, in the middle now, and hopefully right up top. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. No all run, but we're still in danger. I wonder if they attack with everything or not. We could have counter magic and come back still. Alright, we have to be careful about this. So we want the another battle of frost and fire, I guess. Uh freaking dragons in the field though. So we can deal one, five damage here, right, if we copied the command. So close. Or we copy the command, kill two crows, hit for three, that's less. Let's just keep one crow back. We already made the treasure. This is indeed sucks. <laughs> So this is two, four, six, eight. We could do it. It's not enough, but... We need to find a damage spell. This one might be draw to discard to. Oh no, we don't get to choose. It's just the same. I wanted to make a treasure in the second one, so we fucked this up. Yeah, we should have made treasures. I mean, we're still screwed. No, we've got this. We have lethal. We have lethal. Oh my lord and lantern. Lord. If they, they, no, they don't have, they don't have mana. Woof, woof, baby. Holy Toledo's. We just made it through. Just made it through. It was a good thing we decided to copy and do the draw discard. 
and the double draw discard actually saved us rather than the second one being a treasure because that's what drew that other command. Oh, that was a great match. I absolutely love it. Going first. Massive help. Whatever removal we have our aggro. Slash Rampo. Oh my god. It's like... What a card. <laughs> I can't even believe it. We'll keep the one basic in hand for the Snarls. Mono green. Tough matchup. Wolf. Rangers class. Basically the same thing. We already have battle, so divide makes more sense. Hits for three, hits for four, we wipe it. Toss all run over. Play our pathway next. Ooh, Toski survives and takes advantage of Ranger's class and gets a draw. Just take it. It's a 4 4. I mean, we can divide Toski. Next turn, we can gold spend and then divide it. Let's give them a nice so they try to focus on that again next turn. I draw those silly. Hit for four. Pass turn. Divide. Epiphany. As long as there's nothing with reach. Oh, that's so great. Unless they have a protection spell here. They could. There's a ton of cards in hand. Wild Shape. Also, Snakeskin. Mascot Exhibition against Mono Green. Just get in their way. Okay. Do they play a land? No. Just hit for four. Which is really bad, but I think we're okay. We should have threw all these cards looking for more all runs. The draw discard is sick. Toss a dragon. Swing in for four. Make a treasure. Mm. 
We could draw two, discard two as well. Oh, they're so sad, I'm thinking. That's fine, we just have lethal with the damage. Right? <clears throat> Easy. <laughs> Even easier. You gotta BM him. We could have beat him with the gold span. You know, we could have done it so many ways. They're just so upset with seeing this. I get it. I get it. I'm right beside you, bro. Gold span dragons in all reds epiphanies. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're just lucky. We didn't copy it, you know what I mean? Get a little, uh, what is it, galvanization, I think? Yeah, galvanic iteration uh, is the good copy there. <laughs> Maybe we should have just went in for lethal, I guess, right? Um, sometimes you got to send in the BMs, though. That's such a good top deck, right? And they just straight rope it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, going out in style. That's always a thing. I used to sometimes do this to rogues. Just like, control alt delete my whole client. Walk away from my computer. Just like, I'm, do I'm done. I'll I'm going to take a break now. <laughs> oh, I don't do this anymore. I've got a really good attitude and stuff. But when I first started, long, long time ago. And then rogues kind of made me revisit it for a second. Um, I get it. What a frustrating thing. But this is what I wanted to showcase to you today, guys. It's this opponent's rope that I... This is what I really wanted to show you because their rope signifies a community-wide frustration with Goldspan and All Runs Epiphany, right? Which now you can copy an insane amount of times uh, really easily, multiple different ways. Um, we're using the flashback because then you can like copy it back to f and forth. If you have the mana. Um, <laughs> uh, so that's great. Um, absolutely loving it. And, uh, you know, if you're looking for a deck that's really, really good. Here it is. Right? So our opponent's in full control. A real funny guy. But, uh, you know, just going further to showcase the point I'm trying to make is that uh, that frustration that people have and that they're expressing right here is because it's impossible, almost, to beat these fucking cards. The dragon makes the treasures double mana value, then the double turns. Sometimes more than that. Sometimes they're triple turns. You know what I mean? Um, so, I love it. It's great to see. Um, definitely, at this point, you know, the rope suck, but I'm glad that we did it instead of the dragon. They might have roped us with a double dragon too, right? Because that's just as bad. Like, get out of here. Um, what we could, what, we're actually doing both, right? Because we're going to attack and make the more treasures. Um, we should have done the dragon first, I guess. But it uh, doesn't quite get the same effect as, as an ultimate rope. And um, that would have been lethal. And I, I didn't want to take lethal yet. Yeah. <laughs> Our opponent goes first. Land looks nice. We've got some wipes, which have been feeling too slow. What's up with that, man? Why are people getting, like, five fives out so quickly? It's annoying, and I hate it. Hopefully Mono White doesn't have any of that up, uh, you know, their sleeve. This turn four regent is cool, but if they're playing creatures, we need the... Oh, no. So we can just kill this. Life gain decks are hard to beat, and I'm not leaving that there. Like, we're only on two land. We've got to get to five still, you guys. You know what I mean? Pass over. Oh, great. Maybe we can actually get down and dirty with this regent.
Yeah, not really, hey? I'm going to pass turn, divide by zero the regent back to my hand, and then wipe the field. Exile permanent. We'll take care of that enchantment. Hit for four is not great. Having multiple battles in hand is really good. We have nothing to sacrifice. <laughs> you dog. Three, six, seven, eight. Is that too far down the line? Yeah, we just need uh, all run. I'll keep the the copy though. Whatever. Maybe the iteration should have went too. We're being too greedy. We should have just tossed and looked for an all run. That's good. Both of those are pretty good. They get to draw. We also draw two and discard one. We'll discard the card with flashback because we can use it from the grave. Hopefully... You know, they're out of dragon, or not dragon, angels at some point. Really? This is good. Let me attack you! <laughs> oh, bummer. One, two, three. So we have three, four, five. Let's just dump in. Two in our hand. Opus. Command. We have a nice thick hand here, right? This is actually not the worst. Right? And so much mana. <laughs> we have eight. Which isn't enough. So we're going to take the turn off. They can remove the Moon Veil. That's fine. But if we're taking double turns with that Moon Veil ready... Yeah, there it is. I'll, uh, I'll lose zero life. I'm fine with that. Eight. 
and tapped our turn. This is great. Here comes a double turn, and we are on a turn. <laughs> oh! So you get the contrast of the two kinds of opponents, right? One kind of opponent is like, I hate this. You're going to sit here for five minutes. And the other opponent is like, I hate this. I have to run away immediately. Um, but look at this power, you guys, right? Like, <laughs> we're ready. We're ready to do it again because we get two turns. Oh, no. Like, there's just no beating it. What a silly, silly deck when it pops off. I mean, you can aggro underneath of it. That's your only chance is if, like, the mono white or the mono green uh, is is going to get you. Um, but I think we could even, you know, maybe build to mitigate more against that, right? Uh, bring some smaller field wipes in eventually. Opponent goes first. Uh, oh, well, hand looks all right. Hey, how'd you get in there? <laughs> oh, that's funny. We have fun. We'll play this pathway next, I guess. Rangers class is good. Mono green is tough. Yikes. They want the two mana? No. It goes on the class because, like, Dragon Town, you know what I mean? This is a red source. And then we divide by zero the Sentinel. You dog. Someone's listening to us. Nah, it doesn't matter. If we did it earlier, you know, it would have been the same value. Taking sciences. Oh, oh. Yikes. Hit for eight, down to six. Best case scenario. It's probably far worse. We can no longer kill that with the uh, giants. Down to six. We can bounce it. Thing is, we only have five mana here, not six. We divide by zero and Dragon's Fire. Just in case there's something silly. I think they do have an answer to this as well, though. And they just wanted the, the bulk amount of damage. Because if they snakeskin this, they have lethal. We get it. We need some blockers. We're still, you know... 
on the verge of being dead. Troll back in play. Three, we need to land off the top more than anything in the whole wide world. Our only hope. It's a great card. No attacks, and they could have a blizzard brawl. There's lots going on here they could have. Doesn't matter, bro. Where's my sleepy emote? Good game. I mean, they could have put that on the trample as well, right? Um, wolf. Bully! Alright, so improving the deck. Where do we go from here? Hall of the Storm Giants, sure. Maybe some more MDFC lands, potentially, yes. We want to just keep it basic, though, and uh, execute with what we have. However, the Storm Giants would not be bad with the double turn, right? That's a big creature that would be in play if you cast an all run with the mana, and then it can just attack on an empty field, right? So probably, most definitely, Hall of the Storm Giants, you know, just kind of, um, you know lol classic hgg stuff but that's why we're here that's why we're talking about it again and for those of you who watch the videos to the end right you can make those decks just a little bit better than what everybody else is running just sneaking those lists and watching the first uh, match right so definitely that creature land uh as far as everything else goes you know maybe we scrap draconic intervention you know maybe we scrap the two magma opus and we take some synerclasms right some crush the weak um you know some more low level field wipes to keep the mono white in check to keep the mono green in check because i feel that they are the biggest threat to us the other decks you know they don't stand much of a chance uh but there are a couple of aggro decks that can get in and get us but i think we can kind of you know erase that threat uh, through some mitigation via some more field wipes, uh, which will be great. So thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and maybe even become a Patreon. Definitely join the Discord either way, though. Uh, all that can be found in the link tree link in the description below. Have a magical day, and we'll see you soon in the next.